Today I wanted to talk to you guys about a very important topic, and that topic is your privacy, your internet privacy, your digital privacy. One of the things that comes up a lot when we talk about privacy is this misconception that some people have that privacy is only for bad people to hide the bad things that they do. That simply is not the case. Privacy is not synonymous with hiding or secrecy, but again, many people don't understand this. Privacy is a fundamental human right, in my opinion, and I get so upset when I hear, especially friends and family, when I bring up privacy and, you know, especially privacy on the internet, privacy regarding your electronic devices, they say some of these ridiculous things like, well, if you don't have anything to hide, you don't have anything to worry about. Or you only need to worry about this kind of stuff if you're doing something wrong. And what I think is really sad is that I think a lot of these people saying this kind of stuff, they have been infected by the companies that are spying on them. Where do they get this kind of complacency regarding privacy? Well, they get it from companies like Google. Google has a former CEO, Eric Schmidt, who famously said that if you're doing something that you don't want anybody else to know about, then you probably shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. Such statements are absurd. Privacy isn't something that just bad people clothe themselves with. Um, privacy is for everyone. Even those people that don't take online privacy, digital privacy seriously, they have certain expectations regarding privacy. We all do. Take your home, for example, right? We all expect everything within inside the walls of our home to be private. The conversations we have with family and friends, those intimate moments that we have with significant others, whom we choose to invite inside our homes, we expect all those things to be private. We have an expectation that within these walls, no one is watching us, no one is listening to us. And having this peace of mind that everything within our home is private is a healthy thing. It is fundamental to you being healthy as an individual and our society being a healthy society. Without that privacy, we would be afraid to express ourselves. We would be afraid to explore our interests, to associate with whomever we choose to associate with. We would be afraid to speak our minds. It is why the founding fathers of the United States, for example, put such protections as this in the Bill of Rights. And they didn't make these protections just an amendment. They made them the First Amendment. The First Amendment guarantees your freedom of speech, your freedom of association, your freedom of assembly. And though we expect these sorts of freedoms to be respected, the, the right to privacy inside our own home, most people don't expect those same protections when they get online. They don't expect those same protections regarding the internet, their email, their mobile devices, their television and streaming services. They don't even expect that sort of privacy in their vehicles now with all these electronic smart devices in our cars. We accept the fact that our electronic devices are betraying us and that they are spying on us and potentially selling our information to companies or government agencies. And we're okay with that for some reason. Now, we've all heard the apologists out there that claim that all these information gathering services like your smartphone and your email services like Gmail, that those services and those devices, they're not really invading your privacy because you opted into that. You chose to use such services, so you don't really have a right to complain about your data being mined, your information being stolen, and your privacy being violated. I, for one, completely disagree with this because, again, privacy is a fundamental right, and a fundamental right should not be something that you even have an option as far as opting in or out of. It should be guaranteed that no company, no government organization should be able to invade your privacy, whether you give them permission to or not. Getting back to that argument that only bad people have anything to hide, again, it's a, an absurd argument. Let's take, for example, U.S. federal law. There are nearly 30,000 pages of U.S. federal statutes on the books right now. Imagine the U.S. government had access to every phone call, email, every document you ever wrote in your entire life. With that many statutes out there, do you really think that the federal government couldn't find a single law you broke if they had access to all of your information? 
I would say the odds are overwhelmingly not in your favor that they couldn't find at least one law that you broke. Only bad people have something to hide? That's naive. We all have something to hide, even if we don't know it. So, when did we become so complacent in terms of privacy? When did we, as a people, decide it's okay for the likes of Google and Facebook and the various three-letter government agencies to data mine us? I think some of this is due to the rapidly changing technologies with the birth of the internet, the explosion of the internet. We just weren't ready, right? This brave new frontier that is online, we just weren't ready for it. So those that would take advantage of us, those that would rape us and profit from it, they seize the power, they seize the control of the internet. But they only keep that power if we let them. So what can you do personally to fight for your privacy? Well... Do you have to use Google, Facebook, Twitter? Do you have to run proprietary operating systems like Windows, Mac, Chrome OS, Android? Do you have to bug your own house with these listening devices like the Amazon Echo? Of course you don't. You guys are smart enough to know the people that are out there taking advantage of you, especially in regards to your electronic devices and your online services. So do something about it. So I'll say again, privacy is not just for bad people to hide the bad things they do. It's not just bad people that clothe themselves with privacy. No, good people also wrap themselves with privacy because they know privacy is fundamental for protecting your freedom to do good things. I'd like to thank the supporters of this channel. All these names you guys are seeing on the screen right now, these are my supporters over on Patreon. Without these guys, this channel wouldn't be possible. The show you just watched would not have been possible. If you'd like to support my work, please consider doing so. You'll find DistroTube over on Patreon. Alright guys, peace.